name is Dr. Stephen Ashworth. Uh, I'm here from the University of East Anglia in Norwich, which is in the UK. And I'm part of the Scientific Advisory Committee uh, of SciFest Africa. I'm here mainly to do kitchen chemistry, mm -hmm. which is a science show that I do on the main stage in the Guy Butler Theatre. So, well, I look at acid and, and bases. You can use coloured materials such as grape juice or red cabbage water as an indicator to show you whether something is an acid or a base. I make some new materials. There's the lovely thing that the children like making, which is slime, we call it, uh, out of wood glue and borax. I look at the energy there is in food and getting energy out of chemicals, making stuff, taking it apart. So it's all real honest-to-goodness chemistry just done with readily available material. The appeal is uh, for teachers to be able to do proper chemistry, practical chemistry, with readily available materials. That's what I'm really trying to uh, get across here. And when I've been on the road, I don't just do science shows for children, for the learners. I also do workshops for educators so they can see what I'm doing how I do it and how it might be incorporated in their curriculum. It's a practical subject. It is a creative subject. You have to think creatively to come up with the problems, uh, or come up with the answers to problems. So if one's not doing learning practical science, if not one learning the skills to manipulate instruments, to use equipment, then uh, that's going to disadvantage one later on doing practical science. So yes, if it's only theoretical, then that's, in my opinion, that's not good. But I'm hoping to address that with kitchen chemistry so that it doesn't have to be just theoretical. You can look in the textbook and say, ah, oh, that experiment I can do with stuff from the supermarket. So and we can play with that next lesson sort of thing. It is to be, to, to be creative, but to, to hook children in you need to show them things that are counterintuitive. So something they don't expect. And also show how that relates to their everyday lives. Physics is great for that because you can show all sorts of things with everyday materials. It's very easy to do. There are resources online that show you how to do this. And if a teacher has the time and the energy, but I, I understand what, what it's like for teachers. You don't have the time and the energy to search these things out. And so it's sometimes nice when someone like me comes along and says, well, you can, you can do this, or you can do that. And the teacher may not use it for what I use it for, but they may have some better idea. And they say, oh, I can use that for, for this purpose. 